Assalamu alaikum class I hope so you all will be fine Today we are going to start our new chapter that is the transmission of heat As it name indicate transmission means the transfer of heat from the object of the higher temperature to an object of the lower temperature This can be explained with the help of this example In this example you can see that there is a candle and a metal rod the heat is transferring from an object of the higher temperature to an object of the lower temperature this transferring of heat from the object of the higher temperature to an object of the lower temperature is called thermal energy which can be defined as energy flowing due to the motion of the particles of matter now the question arises that how heat is transferred that how heat is transferred if we recall our previous knowledge of six laws that is particle model of solution in that particle model of solution you have studied that the particles that are present inside every object they are vibrating at their position and these vibrations are basically causing the collisions the collision between these particles are actually transferring the energy from the one part of the object to the other part of the object now we will explain the methods of heat transfer the first method of the heat transfer is the conduction that is the direct method the second one is the convection and the third one is the radiation now we will explain these all methods of heat transfer one by one now we will study about the methods of the heat transfer the first method of heat transfer is called as the conduction it is the direct method of the heat transfer now how you will define conduction the conduction is basically the transfer of heat through matter without the actual movement of particles from their position how you will define conduction you will define conduction that is the transfer of heat through matter without the actual movement of particles from their position this can be explained with the help of this example in this example you can see that there is a burner there is a pan and inside the pan there is the food the heat is transferring from the one part of the pan to the other part of the pan now the question arises where the conduction occurs the conduction occurs in all three states of matter that is the solids liquids and gases but it is more prominent in the solids why it is more prominent in the solids because in solids the molecules are tightly packed whereas in liquid and gases the molecules are far apart from each other now we will study about the good conductors and the insulators or bad conductors good conductors are the materials that allow heat to flow through them easily jo apne aap mein se heat ko easily pass out kar sakte hain they are called as the good conductors whereas the insulator or bad conductors are the materials which don't allow heat to flow through them easily are called as the insulators or bad conductors what are the examples of the good conductors iron and silver are the example of the good conductors where insulator we are giving the example of the coat and glass etc now, now we are coming towards the application of the conduction the first application of conduction that is the example of the birds in birds the birds body is covered with the feathers that keeps their body warm so feathers are basically the bad conductors of the heat now coming towards the second example that is your cooking utensils like your kettles like your pans which you use in your kitchens their handles are made up of the plastic and wood and their handles are basically the bad conductors of heat 
Now coming towards the third example that is of your woolen clothes. In the woolen clothes, the wool trap air and this air is basically the bad conductor of the heat. The geotrugs that covers the ice, they are basically reducing the melting and these geotrugs are basically the bad conductor of heat. The styrofoam that are present inside the walls of the refrigerator, they are reducing the transfer of heat along the walls of the refrigerator. So, the next example is of double pan windows. The double pan windows, they slows the transfer of the heat. They basically slow down the transfer of the heat. Next example is of the vacuum and the vacuum also slow down the transfer of heat. Now this is all for the topic of the conduction. I hope so you will understand the topic after watching this video. Thank you so much. Now we will summarize our lecture with this animated video. Whenever an object is heated, energy is transferred to its thermal energy store and its temperature increases. The process of heating, though, can take place in three different ways, depending on the medium involved. For solids, heat is transferred by conduction. In fluids, it's via convection. And to get through empty space, heat has to be transferred in the form of radiation. Let's start with conduction. The key idea behind conduction is that vibrating particles transfer energy to neighboring particles. To understand how this works, let's imagine that you were heating one end of a piece of metal with a Bunsen burner. And imagine the piece of metal as a series of particles. As the end of the metal is heated, energy is transferred to the metal, or more specifically, is transferred to the kinetic energy store of the particles at that end. This causes the particles to vibrate faster, and so they collide with their neighboring particles more often, and with more energy. As the collisions transfer kinetic energy, the neighbors will also vibrate faster and collide more with their neighbors. And as this process repeats, energy is passed along the piece of metal until, in the end, the heat is spread out evenly and it will be pretty much the same temperature everywhere. Now, the reason that conduction occurs mainly in the solids is because the particles in a solid are held together really closely which means that there's lots of collisions that pass on the energy. Whereas in liquids and gases, the particles are all further apart, and so they don't collide as much. Exactly how well objects transfer energy by conduction is known as their thermal conductivity. Metals have a high thermal conductivity and transfer heat energy rapidly. Whereas plastics have a low thermal conductivity which is why we use them as insulators. And pretty much all fluids have a low thermal conductivity.